we are going to solve each system of linear equations by elimination. And so what elimination means is that we, it's also sometimes called linear combination, which basically means we add the two equations together in order to eliminate one of the variables. So we're going to start with this one right here, 2x plus 4y equals 40, and x minus 4y equals negative 22. So let's, let's take a look at it. I'm going to rewrite it quickly. So 2x plus 4y equals 40 and x minus 4y equals negative 22. Now, I want to add them together, okay? But before I, before I start adding, let's think about this. The goal is to eliminate a variable. So let's just look at our heads. If I add these two together, the x is still there. But look at this. I've got a positive 4y and a negative 4y. So when I add them together, the y is going to drop out. I'm going to be able to eliminate the y. So I don't have to do anything. I can just add the two equations together, and I will be eliminating a variable by doing that. So this is one of the easiest ones we could do. So 2x plus x is 3x. Positive 4y plus negative 4y is 0, so we just put nothing there. And then 40 plus negative 22 is 18. So now, if I want to solve for x, this is easy. 3x equals 18. Divide both sides by 3, and I end up with x equals 6. Perfect. Now, if I want to solve for y, what I need to do is plug in 6 for x in either one of these two equations. So let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. Now, it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. So I would do whichever one's easier for you. Some students love negative numbers, so they might want to plug it into equation number 2 because there's two negative numbers there. Some students hate negative numbers, so you might want to look at equation 1. I personally would rather not use negative numbers if I don't have to, so I'm going to use um, equation 1. So 2x plus 4y equals 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 6 and I'm going to plug it in for x. So 2 times 6 plus 4y equals 40. So this is going to be 12 plus 4y equals 40. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. So I end up with 4y equals 28. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And I end up with y equals 7. So there's my solution. x equals 6 and y equals 7. Okay, and if your teacher wants you to write it as an ordered pair, some teachers may say that. You can write it as 6, 7, or you could just put it nice and neat next to each other, x equals 6, y equals 7, and put it in one box. Always box your answers. It makes your teachers able to find it better. Um, good, but then we're not done, because remember, what do we always have to do? We have to check our work, okay? And I know what you're saying. Oh, my teacher, you know, they're just trying to be annoying. They're actually not. In real life, you need to check everything that you do, right? We don't want to make a mistake. We don't want to make some silly mistake, right? So let's check our work. So we got, what, x equals 6, y equals 7? Okay, so we're going to plug it into equation 1. So that's 2x plus 4y equals 40. So 2 times 6 plus 4 times 7. We want to know if that equals 40. So that's going to be 12 plus 28. Is that equal 40? So I've got the 1 and the 2 is 30. The 2 and the 8 is 10, so 30 plus 10 is 40. So 40 equals 40. Perfect. Now let's check it in equation number 2. So equation number 2 is x minus 4y equals negative 22. Okay? So we've got x equals 6, y equals 7. So 6 minus, oops, I didn't need to put the parentheses around the 4. That's okay. 4 times 7, does that equal negative 22? <clears throat> So that's going to be 6 minus 28. Does that equal negative 22? And it does. Negative 22 equals negative 22. Perfect. So we're done. So we know that's the right answer. All right. So now what we want to look at is another example. So I always think it's good to do two examples, you know, make them slightly different. All right. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So let's, let me write them again below so you can see. So we've got 
2x plus y equals 1 and 3x minus 3y equals negative 12. Now with this one, remember we're going to add. So now with this one, if I do 2x plus 3x, that's 5. And then if I do positive y plus negative 3y, that's going to be negative 2y. So that doesn't really get me anywhere. So I need to manipulate this somehow. Well, if I take the first equation here, I know, well, first I notice that this is a positive and this is a negative, so that's great because that's how I'm going to get something to go away, okay? If I, add, if I have a number and I add its additive inverse, it'll drop out. It'll go to zero, okay? So right now I'm looking at the y's, eliminating the y. So if I say this is negative, this is positive, how can I get this to be a positive 3y? Well, all I have to do is multiply it by 3. But remember, I can't just multiply the y by 3. I need to multiply everything by three, okay? So both the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation need to be multiplied by three. So now I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna rewrite it here. So I end up with six X plus three Y equals three. And then remember my other equation was three X minus three Y, which I never touched, equals negative 12. So I'm gonna add them together. So 6x plus 3x is 9x, and 3y plus negative 3y drops out to 0, and now I'm looking at 3 plus negative 12, and that's going to be a negative 9, okay? 9x equals negative 9, so x is going to equal 1, so let's, and sorry, negative 1. So divide both sides by 9, you end up with x equals negative 1. Perfect. Now I need to solve for y, so I'm going to plug it into one of the two equations. And again, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. I'm thinking I'm going to go with 1 because it's 2x plus y equals 1. And that's like really easy to deal with. So 2 times negative 1 plus, plus y equals 1. So that's going to be negative 2 plus y equals 1. Add 2 to both sides. I end up with y equals 3. Perfect. So now we can't be done just yet. So, well, first, actually, before we, or you know what? Let's check first. Might as well check first. Okay. So we have to check our answer because we could be wrong. We could have made a silly error somewhere, and we don't want that to happen. So when we check, we need to say, all right, well, we got x to equal negative 1 y to equal 3. So let's see if it works. So in the first equation, 2x plus y equals 1. So 2 times negative 1 plus y is 3 equals 1. So that's going to be negative 2 plus 3. Does that equal 1? And it does. Boom. So now let's check the other one. So 3x minus 3y equals negative 12. So that's going to be 3 times negative 1 minus 3 times 3. And does that equal negative 12? So that's going to be negative 3 minus 9. Does that equal negative 12? And it does. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. Boom. So we know we're right. So now we can write our answer all nice and neat. x equals negative 1. y equals 3. Or if your teacher wants it as an ordered pair, negative 1 comma 3. Okay? Boom, there's your answer. Nice work.